look back at the text, I asked you what time, and you didn't respond. I just don't understand. I don't. I'm really not cheap. I'm frugal. Mm, people are nasty. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, baby, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Just lay in it. Spin all day in it. My hitters don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. They stay with it. I'm okay with it. Hey besties, before we get started with today's vlog, we do have a new sponsor to the channel. I am so excited to bring you guys Timu. So just to tell you guys a little bit about Timu, they are a one-stop shop. They have everything from clothing, hair, accessories, shoes, anything you could think of. Timu pretty much has it. And they have amazing quality items at highly discounted prices. Also, I will have a coupon code that will be down below and it'll also be on the screen. So guys, make sure you check them out and snatch up some cute items. Timu did send me a large box full of goodies to show you guys. So if you wanna see all the cool items I got, stay tuned. Okay guys, I got some press-on nails. You guys already know I am a press-on nail girl. I do not go to the nail shop anymore because I can do my own nails right at home and if a nail breaks i can just pop another press on right back on these are the nails that i picked out look at these cute blingy nails this is the next one it's kind of giving winter snowflake sparkly vibes and the last one that i got these are my favorite they are french tips with some gold bling on them and all three of these are 24 packs of nails Okay, next I got some sunnies. So your sunglasses do come in protective cases. So we definitely love that. So I got these cool silver shades. Y'all already know these shades, they look kind of wrap around your face. They are super in style right now, super on trend. This is how they look on me. I'm loving the silver color. It's very much so giving like it girl vibes. These are the next pair of glasses. These are like some mango color glasses. These are super cute. They're not really gonna block the sun or anything, but they're they're more for fashion. So I also wanted to try out their shoes to see how the quality is. And these are the shoes that I picked out. Just some really classy, clear, but blingy shoes. These definitely make a statement. I plan on wearing these with some really long wide leg pants. So all you'll see pretty much is the toe. They do have a very short little kitten heel. These are gonna be super easy to walk in because not only is it a kitten heel, it's got a little block right here. So we love that. It probably won't even show, honestly, just because like I said, I'm gonna be wearing these with some long wide leg pants. There is a back strap for some support. All right, now let's get into the clothing. Both of these items that I have on are from Timu. This is a cold shoulder sweater. It comes off the shoulders. It has this nice tie detail in the back. It's cropped, it's gonna show your stomach, but it does cover up your waist in the back. So it's kind of like a high low type of thing. It has nice long sleeves. It gives you that like cozy feel. I love a long sleeve top that has sleeves that cover my hands. Y'all know me, I say this all the time. And it is a nice cream color. I don't know if it's coming out on camera, but it's nice cream. It has a cable knit to it and the quality is amazing. So I did pair it with these jeans here. These are like a mid-rise jean and you can see they're kind of like acid wash. But what I love most about these jeans is the detail. Look at this detail. It kind of gives you kind of like a moto feel. These are a size extra large. All of the links and sizes will be down below of everything that I show you guys in today's video. There's not much back gap, like at all. If you see that, it pretty much lays against the small of my back, which is hard for me to find jeans like that. You have belt loops, real pockets on the front and in the back. Okay, this is the next item. This is a two piece sweater set. Y'all, this sweater is like the material of those expensive sweaters that you find in those trendy fashion stores in the mall. Like quality is a one. But let's get into it. It comes with a bandeau topped, a cropped cardigan. I have it open just so you guys can see how it looks. I would probably wear mine like this. I think this is so cute. Y'all can't tell me this is not cute. Let me get closer so y'all can see the quality of this material. But I definitely love this. Now, how gorgeous is this dress? We have to throw a dress up in the mix and I love this. Y'all know, usually I wear like super tight form-fitting dresses, 
but this is giving classy this is giving brunch this is giving meet the parents of your new boyfriend you know like yes it does have a deep v right here it has belt loops and then there's tie belt that goes around your waist it is a maxi dress super flowy y'all the material is so nice the sleeves come nice and long you guys can see they all the way down to my hand so i love that like i said it's different from my normal style but i'm open to it with a cute little handbag last but not least is this one piece pajama outfit <laughs> because guess what i'm gonna stay in this and i'm gonna go to bed <laughs> It has a cute wintry print on it. This is going to be perfect. It's going to keep me warm while I lay up in my bed and watch a little bit of Netflix until I fall asleep. It does have a working zipper that goes all the way up, all the way down. It has a hood. As you can see, super cute. It does come all the way down to my ankles. So it is definitely friendly for the tall girls. So I love this. And yeah, get into it. I'm a little cute going to bed. So guys, that is the end of my haul with Timu. Once again, thank you so much to them for sending me these really nice items. You guys, my coupon code will be across the screen as well as down below in the description box. All of the links to the items will be down below as well. Definitely check them out. Let me know what your favorite item was. We'll be seeing more of them on my channel. I am definitely super excited about that. So guys, let's get on to the vlog good morning welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is gina janine i like to think of myself as your thick best friend welcome to my channel if you like what you see go ahead and hit that subscribe button y'all it's the weekend vlog but no weekend festivities <laughs> i literally don't have anything planned like today is friday so i'm just leaving the gym about to get my lashes done I'm gonna run some errands like a regular day i'm eating my cinnamon apples i'm starving I almost passed out during my workout that's how hard he worked me i don't know how much i'm gonna be vlogging i don't know why i always say this like i literally always say i ain't doing nothing i don't know how much of a vlog y'all gonna get and then i give y'all an hour hour and 15 minutes i don't have any plans for the weekend but i'm sure something will pop up i'm sure i'll be doing something you know all right y'all these are my before lashes not in super need of a refill or a fresh set i just do what she tells me if i need a fresh set she tells me if i need a refill she tells me so i do whatever she says not in real super need of it but it ain't nothing like that full Snuffleupagus lashes. Y'all youngins probably don't even know who Snuffleupagus is. Google him. I might put a picture of him or her. Actually, I think Snuffleupagus was a girl. I don't know. Anyway, I need a full set of wings put on. So we'll be back. All right, we're back. Fresh lashes and she did my eyebrows. They're a little bit thinner. She didn't make them a little bit thinner. The last time I got them waxed um, at the nail salon, they made them a little bit thinner than I wanted. And this getting them and them getting them cleaned up today made me realize I need to let them grow out because I like thick eyebrows. Y'all know my eyebrows are like naturally thick. So anyways, I need some food in my system. All I've had is an apple today and some water. Um, I need some food. And y'all, she's getting so much quicker with the lashes. Y'all know I was complaining that she was taking two hours, sometimes two and a half hours. Baby, she did my lashes and waxed my brows in an hour and 45 minutes. Okay, she's getting better. That's how it was last time. Last time I got my lashes done as well, it took an hour and a half. I'm like, okay. She's working quick, and I had me a nice little nap, okay? Killed two burns with one stone, and we're, we're done before it's even noon, all right? But yeah, I need some lunch. I'm about to go drop my wig off because I am getting my hair done by the same chick next week. And also, I have a return to Dee Dee's and just a couple other things, so. A day of errands, like I told you guys. Red DDs, y'all. No. This is so funny. Me? No. This is a, uh, I guess, for Galentine's. Mm -hmm. 
No, um, they prices um, going up. That was probably the shortest DD shopping trip. It was a nasty, disgusting pervert in there. And I'm like, I, I can't even like finish doing what I'm doing. Like, even the girl at the checkout, he was messing with her. And she was like, be careful when you walk to your car. I'm like, I know, like, it's, what the hell? So anyway, I couldn't even look around. But there's so many DDs. I, if I need to stop by another one, I will. I, I got my return done, and so that's all that matters. Men. Men. And this not even all, this ain't all men, this ain't most men. This is just some men. Even, even the small amount of nasty, creepy, perverted let me get out of here, because this nigga might be around here trying to stalk some shit. I just don't understand. I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't get it. <sighs> it I'm trying to shop. The other girl was trying to work. She worked at Dee Dee's. You just hard dick for anything. Like, you just want to... Like, Lord, Jesus. I don't know. It, it just... It's a time and a place, and it's a way to do things. Is his helmet a bunny rabbit? Yes, his helmet is a bunny rabbit. I wish he would turn around. <laughs> Anyways, enough creepo talk. No, I just had to say one more thing. L let me say one more thing. Men also, this happens to me a lot. And I'm sure it happens to a lot of mothers. What possesses you men to try to pick up a woman when she's out with her children? Let me put my seatbelt on because it's going to keep screaming in my ear. Hold on. I know a lot of men are going to think, oh, well, I might not ever see her again. This might be my only opportunity. Well, then it's just not the time. The cards are not in your favor. Like, it's just, it's, it, it is what it is. If it's meant to be, you'll run into her by herself. Stop trying to holler at women when they with their kids. Especially kids that understand what's going on. Now, this like a little newborn, a little one-year-old, a possibly even a two-year-old. They don't under, they don't understand what's going on. But when that kid is three, four, five plus, they know exactly what's going on. Let us be, please. Please let us be. I don't even think I told y'all. I didn't tell y'all because I think I edited that video already. This dude that's trying to holler at me, Ethan and Ashton are right there. And y'all know Ashton is nosy rosy. But that's my, that's my road dog. She going to keep me on my toes. She going to keep me safe. Like that's, that's, my, that's, my, that's my girl right there, okay? This man grabs my arm. Grabs my arm. And then going to tell my kids, I think your mama like me. Nigga, What? Are you serious? Are you sick? No, you're sick. And y'all already know, Ashton goes, no, my mama don't. No, my mama don't have the whole neck roll and everything. I couldn't do nothing but laugh. I had to say nothing. Ashton, Ashton spoke for me. And then once we got to the other side of the restaurant, Ashton was like, mom, he's staring you down. Oh my God, he's staring you down. Don't look. Don't turn around and look, but he is staring you down. I'm hungry and I've come to the realization I'm so tired of fast food, like tired of it. So I'm at Jason's Deli about to give me some soup and half a sandwich. Oh, wrap. A wrap or a sandwich or something. Hello. One more, I'm so sorry. Oh, no problem. Hi, I want the manager special. What sandwich? Um, the turkey wrap. And then the seafood gumbo with no rice. Anything else? That'll be it. 1157 at the window. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, they gave me. I got soup and fruit. Okay. We're 
Target looking for Ashton a dress for her dance today. Okay, you don't like any of those dresses over here? Will you be interested in a sweater and a skirt? No. No, you just want a dress, okay. Look, there's more dresses over here to the left and there's some right there. You're wearing black, girl. Black dress might be a little difficult. Oh, here's, are these black dresses? Oh, oh, these are shirts. That's a shirt. There's a red dress. That's really pretty. And it's almost Valentine's Day. And it's soft. You put a sweater over top of it. No, I want to wear a dress. It's cold, baby. I'm wearing a dress. As a dress. Not a, a dress and a sweater. A dress is a dress, and a dress is going to be worn as a dress. Oh, my God. Wait, so I might get Yeah, this. it's like 50 degrees outside. Try what size is it? What size? A large? Come on, let's get some other options. This one from over here. Oh, okay, go ahead, and I'll be looking over here. Well, at least she's open to the not just black. She's picking a sweater, y'all. She's picking a sweater. She picked a sweater. I see it. A sweater to go with it, right? No, a sweater to wear by itself. Oh. <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> Stop playing. No, I'm not playing. No, this sweater is to wear by itself. What do you mean? To wear by itself. Oh, I like that Reese's shirt. I might want to get that just for fun. We ain't here buying shirts just for fun, just because. I like that shirt. It is cute. Oh, it's on sale. Oh, you can get it. It's on sale. Look. Yeah, like oh, we, we buy clearance. Look, y'all, 50% off. You can show which size you need, baby. A large? Yeah, like. Here. Grab that large right there. No, no, no. On it. On this shelf. Yeah. All right, come on. We got to find more dresses. This is a fancy Target. I'm gonna wear white shoes and I might as well just get the white jacket. That's what I've been saying this whole time. I didn't know. Y'all, I'm about to strangle her. <laughs> I'm literally about to strangle her. Yeah, if I, if every, I know... every suggestion is no. And then three minutes later, hmm, yeah, okay. Oh my God. She, first of all, she thinks she's wearing a spaghetti strap dress with no jacket in 45 degree weather. Absolutely not. That is cute. That's very cute. You want that? They don't have your size. Let me see. Child, not us chopping for bathing suits. I ain't about to. No. Medium? No, you need a larger, extra large, baby. Okay, so try this on. See if this fits or see if the medium fits better. See what the kids got caramel fraps. The kid got for caramel fraps. He hasn't got his yet. Well, he's not in the car yet. He's not here yet. He's still at school, but his frap is right there. I got a small pistachio frap. Substitute almond milk and hold the whipped cream. Y'all know the whipped cream be half the dang on drink, so I ain't want to. Plus, it's, you know, we make little steps here and there to make better decisions with our eating. So yes, it still has calories and sugar and all that, but me substituting almond milk, that helps. And then no whipped cream, that helps. So yeah. Look down. Yep, just like that. Okay, tell me whenever you need a blink. Whenever you need a blink, I can stop. Look down. You said you put on lotion or lotion and perfume? Mm -hmm. Which one? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you have perfume? Yeah, my hair is like grinding one. Oh, that's right. What about you, that? Yeah. Smells good. I do? Yeah. It's hard. Go look in the mirror. Okay. And then I can put more on if you want. Look at my baby. She had her hair in a bun. She took it down. The bun looks nice, but y'all know she is just stuck on her ponytail. She still looks beautiful though. 
I wanted to put some little curly cues right here. She said no. I said, what about earrings and a necklace? She said no. Well, actually, we can put on an earring and a necklace. You doing earrings and a necklace? Yeah. Let's get a necklace. To be honest, this mascara doesn't even matter. It's a masquerade ball. Oh, that's right. And we get masks. That's right. It's fine, though. And they have a 360 camera thing. You look beautiful. Let's see the whole thing. So cute. You got little shorts on underneath there? <laughs> okay, Nike shorts. Well, they're shorts. Okay, short. let's go. We're on a time crash. Go ahead, you gotta show the camera. So, we got cookies from Combo Cookies. We got two. First one is peanut butter and banana. So, I'm gonna try it. Let's take a picture of it first. It looks so good. Hold on, hold on. Let me take a picture of it. What? There's nobody behind me. The heck? Ethan, text your dad said we're five minutes away. That looks pretty good, actually. Is it warm or cold? Cold. It's cold. And does it taste like peanut butter and banana? Yeah. Um, I give it an 8.5. 8.5? Mm -hmm. Okay. The other one. What's this one? That one's called Kentucky Butter Cake. Kentucky Butter Cake. This one's warm. I don't like warm cookies. I don't. But I wouldn't want to warm either. Still gonna try it for y'all though. Has some like um, sugar powder. This one's a negative one. <laughs> this one's good. This one's a normal. Oh shoot. This one, the Kentucky one. It's a cookie with no flavor. It's just a. She it's said the, dough. the Kentucky butter cake is that has no flavor. It's just dough cookie. But that peanut butter banana is good. What's up, y'all? I'm back. Y'all haven't seen me since I dropped off Ashton to her dance. <sighs> y'all, that was just like y'all know that scene in Love and Basketball where the girl was like getting ready for prom. And she was, had her hair pressed out and she had her makeup on. And everybody was like, oh my God, I can't believe how girly and pretty she looks. Like, that's how I feel when Ashton wears a dress. Like, I'm like, my baby's so cute. She's not wearing a Nike and a sweatshirt, you know? So, she was feeling herself and she had fun at the, um, at the dance, so. But they came back home, they changed. I dropped them off with their dad because it's his weekend and... I got me something to eat. I came home. I've just been chilling ever since. I'm just getting out the shower. Y'all see I'm glistening. I got that good old body butter on. Girl smelling good. I'm about to do my, um, I already washed my face. I did like a, where's my, I done left my mask. I was saying I, uh, I did like a slight exfoliator. Um, you know, you're not supposed to exfoliate your skin every single day so i did a deep deep exfoliator was that last night or the night before i can't remember but i just did like a mild one today so i'm about to put on this bedtime mask it's called silent night bedtime facial mask infused with lavender and retinol the brand is spa life so i'm about to put this on while i watch vlogs and then y'all already know i either put on my bedtime lip mask or good old Vaseline does the trick to keep them lips smooth and I don't know if I told y'all on the last vlog I don't think I did y'all I need to go back to uh Marshall's and buy the second bottle they had like four bottles of these I need to go back and buy a second bottle because y'all know if you places like Marshall's Ross TJ Maxx Home Goods if you don't get it while it's there you probably not gonna find it again. They usually don't restock multiples of like the same thing. Once they get like a shipment of it, usually like that's it. You're lucky if it comes back again. So anyways, y'all, this right here works so good. My body naturally, I naturally wake up between like four and 5 a.m. every night to go pee. Like that's just something that just happens to me. Y'all, I went to bed last night at midnight and I had the most restful sleep, did not wake up to pee, 
did not wake up for anything. I did not wake up until my alarm clock went off. That never happens. Like something is always waking me up, whether it's my bladder, I hear something, my phone vibrates, um, I had a weird dream, a uh, itch, uh, uh, I'm not, I can't get comfortable, anything. I'm always waking up in the middle of the night. It's so rare when I sleep through. I took these last night and I slept so peacefully and I felt so good today. Okay. I can link them down below. If you can't find them at your local Marshalls, this is worth getting. So I will be taking these probably... Probably in maybe like the next 30 minutes. After I take my mask off. Yeah, I'll take, after my mask comes off, then I'll probably take those. So anyways, that's it. This is how I'm spending my Friday night. Nothing fun, nothing spectacular. Tomorrow might be the same. I don't know. But I love you guys, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Good afternoon. Happy Saturday. I've been up since 9 a.m. i just been lollygagging around the house most of the morning i went upstairs cleaned up upstairs i took pictures i went off on the kids and the text message like i'm i just i don't understand like i don't understand why y'all like living in the field I, I don't get it i don't understand but anyway so i cleaned up a little bit i left some for them because i'm like i'm not doing everything we got housekeepers that come and then me coming and cleaning behind y'all. Like, we not doing all that, okay? Y'all need to keep your living quarters clean. You don't want to live like animals. But anyway, I'm eating a late breakfast. My burnt chicken and apple sausage, which I love so much. This is four eggs, two egg whites, two whole eggs. And then, of course, my iced coffee with almond milk and my guilt-free syrup let me turn y'all this way um i don't plan on leaving the house today y'all at all if i leave the house it'll just be like on a whim maybe to get food maybe I, it'll be on a whim i plan on getting work done today i plan on doing two to three sponsorships having those edited sent over to the companies so when the work week starts a lot of them are overseas yeah, because I think two of them are in China and one of them is in Israel. You was it? So, yeah, they'll see those on their Monday morning and I can get them ready for the coming week. I don't... I, I don't want to do nothing today, y'all. <laughs> I literally want a chill weekend. Y'all know I travel so much. Then when I'm not traveling, I'm at kids' basketball games, taking kids to practice, like I said, the kids have an off week this week. They had no practice, no games this weekend. So I don't have to worry about that. I just, I'm able to just do me and get some work done. Sounds boring, but I love weekends where I have no commitment, no obligation to anything. So tomorrow is Super Bowl. Tomorrow I might get out. Okay. I know my sister says she wanted to do brunch tomorrow. She sent me um, a TikTok of this brunch pl place. I'm like, I don't want to go to no bougie brunch place. Why are all the pictures smoked salmon and toast? And they're not even pancakes. I don't know what they are. They're like this big, which is tiny. They're like this big and like this fat. Please give me a normal pancake. And I'll say French toast. I'll check my back. I'll say, where's the sausage, the bacon, the eggs, and the grits? I don't want to go to a bougie place for brunch. I'm sorry. Brunch? Brunch is all about the having good food and the mimosas. Like, I don't want... I don't want the bougie-ness. So, she never responded back. So, we might not be going. I don't know. And me and Tanya will probably do something tomorrow for Super Bowl. We'll see. Of course, y'all will come along. I like burnt sauces, but I burnt this a little bit too much. Y'all, the weirdest thing on my leg. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. Let me show y'all. Okay, y'all. So right here, 
don't mind these two holes right here this is when i had my car accident i had an external fixator on my leg that's what that's from that's from 2007 we're not looking at that right there we're looking right here in this area on my shin it's darker and you see this little dark circle spot right here i hit my leg hard like super super hard as hell where i actually thought i probably cracked my bone i hit it on either a table a chair i can't remember at this point it's been like seven months but it left like a darker i don't know why i keeps trying to focus on the water bottles over there it left a darker area and now black hairs are growing just in this spot right here y'all if y'all didn't know i did have i have veiny legs so don't don't mind that i had laser hair removal about 15 years ago and y'all see i really don't grow i don't not really i don't grow hair on my legs i might grow one hair here or there um but like this is the last time i shaved my legs was probably like six seven weeks ago and y'all see how smooth it is y'all see how smooth it is i don't grow hair but for some reason right here in this area is a patch of black hairs okay anyway um i noticed that today when i was looking at my legs well after i took my shower and put my um my my body butter on let me back out sorry y'all do y'all know why that is? Why I am growing a patch of black hair over that injured area? The injured area is probably shaped like this. It's probably three inches by one inch. And that entire area is growing a patch of black hair. And you guys saw my legs. I don't grow hair on my legs. I literally, on each leg, I might grow five hairs. Um, so laser hair removal is very good. I love laser hair removal. I told you guys. This is not a laser hair removal topic, but I did my forearms and you guys can see I have very smooth. It won't focus y'all, but I have smooth forearms. I don't grow any hair on my forearms anymore. And I used to have that hair that would like, y'all see them girls that hair that would, that would kind of like be baby soft, but it would like lay over. I had hair like that. I used to shave my forearms and shave my legs. I don't have to really do that anymore unless I'm going on vacation. That's the only time I shave now. So I have not shaved my hair since New Year's Eve, maybe two days before New Year's Eve. So it's been many weeks, okay? I wonder why that is. I have seen people who have like facial birthmarks where you see people with like that black area, like might be like a black circle on their cheek or on their forehead or like by their eye and it grows hair. I wonder if that's like the same thing, like, I cause an injury to the part of the body and the body's like trying to heal it but it gets confused and now I don't know anybody who knows the answer please let me know down below because like I said this is very very weird to me very odd I almost want to go back and get laser hair removal just on that one little patch because why am I have to be shaving just this one little area anyway but yeah, I did laser hair removal back in the day when um, lasers, we would have to turn away certain people. For those of y'all that are new here or don't remember, um, I was an esthetician in a past life. I was an esthetician. I worked at a laser hair removal company for over five years. I was the manager. Yeah, then I got into the medical field and I became a radiographer after that. Now I'm a full-time influencer. Yes, your girl has had many lives. <laughs> but yeah, back then, and when I say back then, this was like, 2005 2006 2007 around that area that era um we had to like people who were like darker than me we would have to like say we just have to be honest with you um the laser might not work good for your skin tone because you're you have dark skin you have dark hair and what the laser looks for is pigment so the best candidates are the people with fairer skin and dark hair and we would turn away people who had very, very fair skin with blonde or white hair. We're like, it's literally not gonna work for y'all. We could turn it up to the highest setting, it's not gonna work. And the dark skinned people, we would tell them, we can't even have it on, a, we'd have to have it on a very, very low setting and you'll be coming here getting lasered forever. But if you want to, you could do it, but we gotta let you know, it probably ain't gonna work. So I was a decent candidate. For one, I worked there. So I could laser myself whenever I wanted to. I didn't have to wait the four to six weeks in between. I was literally lasering my bikini, my legs, my arms, my sideburns, my upper lip. Um, anywhere in my body that I seen hair, I would a little bit, oh, we got a little break. 
Like anywhere in my body, I'm like, I'm about to laser them. I wonder how lasers are now. Back then, it was so painful. Mmm, mmm. You would have to put gel on the body, which is like a cooling gel. So you would slather the gel on right here and you would actually, the laser would touch your skin and the, the head of the laser was about this size right here. Going, do, 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 do. I used to have, y'all, I used to have sideburns that came down to here, not anymore. But I used to have really, really, really long sideburns and I lasered them, I lasered in between here. Anyway, y'all see, I'm like a little squirrel. <laughs> I go from subject to subject. I know that the lasers now, from what I've seen, it like doesn't even touch your skin. It like blows a cold air and they hover it above the skin and they say it's painless. I don't know, baby. I used to do my bikini and would be jumping off the table. I'm like, why would I, why am I torturing myself? How am I doing this to myself? But I got some stories about laser hair removal. Mmm, people are nasty. That's all I'm gonna say. We do cracks, crevices, coochies, everything. And people are nasty, okay? That's for a different subject, a different day. Let me finish my food. I'll be back. Okay, first sponsorship is done. Arabella Hair. Who's texting me? Arabella Hair, y'all check them out. This is like a cute Valentine's Day colored wig by the time the sponsorship goes out i don't know if valentine's day will be passed or what but this is cute for valentine's day valentine's day pictures are just cute period shoot this is cute i don't wear red very often so i don't know how long i'm gonna keep this wig in but i like it it's really really pretty and you don't have to match your wig to your clothing you don't have to i do that a lot of times just because i have so many wigs so i'm able to but it's cute and I don't have no baby hairs, y'all. No baby hairs. Just a slick bag. And this wig came curled so pretty. I didn't even have to recurl it, but I did. Anyways, yeah, Arabella hair. Uh, I got two more sponsorships to do. I think I'm going to. Yeah, I'm just checking in with you guys. <laughs> Golly. When I told you guys I was going to be in the house all day. I meant that. Look at me. Look at me in my onesie, my little winter onesie. This is actually from a sponsorship I did earlier though. I got a lot of work done. I got three sponsorships filmed, edited, and sent off to the company. So I will have a light week this week. So I'm proud of myself. Pats on the back. I have not eaten anything. I think I'm just gonna make me egg roll and rice. Leftovers from two days ago. I think that's what I'm gonna eat. I'm really not hungry, but I don't want to be eating at midnight, so I'm just going to make a little something light, light. While I was away, I bought some NBA tickets for Ethan's birthday. Baby, I bought third row NBA tickets for Ethan's birthday. So my baby is going to be so excited. <laughs> Well, you know, nothing really excites Ethan. He'd be like, um, oh, oh, cool story, bro. <laughs> That's how my baby is. But I thought that it would be like a good gift for him. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, so I bought us third row tickets. Um, there were floor seats that were literally, oh, I'm so mad about this. Floor seats on the floor in the nice big chairs. Floor seats that were only $25 each more expensive than the third row seats. But they didn't have four seats all together. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they didn't have four seats all together. I was telling their dad, cause I'm, I bought him a ticket as well. When you a good baby daddy and you do what you supposed to do and yeah, you get perks like that. So not only did I buy me and the kids tickets, I bought his ticket too. So he gonna be with us. No, it ain't no funny business and nothing going on. Y'all know he's really, really into basketball. He's the one who does 
the majority of the kids basketball stuff i'm literally just their driver back and forth he's like handles everything he's in the group chats he knows all the parents he knows all the coaches he knows about other competing teams in the area like so anyways you're a good baby daddy you get perks so i feel like people should get rewarded for he never tells me no He's always right there for the kids. Anytime I need him, it's always yes, yes, yes. Okay, sure. What time? When? How long? So, anyway, so we're doing that. That'll be um, next month for Ethan's birthday. I bought plane tickets for Vegas. I'm going to Vegas soon. Oh, my God. March is going to be just filled, filled, filled. I think, I think like every weekend in March I have something to do yeah so i'm excited it's a lot of money but yolo you only live once y'all 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 already know my motto i ain't even gotta say it y'all can write it down below so while that's heating up i need me an appetizer some cranberry and apple tuna from whole foods so good kino was oh kino was telling me the other day he went and he got the curry tuna so they have all kinds of tuna in Whole Foods. Good morning, good morning. Well, it's afternoon at this point. It's afternoon. I really woke up at about 7.30 and I scrolled my phone for about an hour. So I went back to sleep about 8.30, 8.45, then woke up, I don't know, at 10. And I just been lollyagging, and not doing nothing. I just took my nails off because I want to put some different nails on. I only had those nails on for, I don't know why they started cracking they started cracking and that, that that was like, that usually only happened with my dollar store nails, not my like good nails. So that was kind of weird. So I'm gonna put some different nails on. Yeah, today's Super Bowl Sunday. I'm gonna go watch the Super Bowl for the halftime show. It's the Rihanna show. That's, that's what I'm gonna watch it for. I didn't know who was playing in the Super Bowl until about an hour ago. The only reason why I know it's being held in Arizona is because I was looking at something on Instagram. Somebody was performing, hosting last night. And I'm like, why is everybody in Arizona? I'm like, oh, Super Bowl. So yeah, I'm gonna meet up with Tanya, my sister, whoever else, you know? So I'm just mad right now. I just put a video out. I don't know how this stuff happens, y'all. I don't know how this happens. The last 10 minutes of my video cut off. How? I don't know how I edited it. It's uploaded. I just watched it on my computer because the way that I do mine, I download them to my computer or upload, I don't know the correct verbiage, and then I load them to YouTube. So it's an hour and 12 minutes on my computer, but on YouTube, it's only an hour and two minutes. How does that happen? How, how, how? I am so mind boggled right now. I'm about to, I got both my computers right here. I'm like, what, what, what is going on? The vlog was still good, but it's still like, dang, I edited that last 10 minutes of editing footage takes like 20 sometimes. It could be like 30 minutes sometimes. It didn't show that Tina was at Galentine's, Tanya, my cousin. I watched the Grammys with y'all on there. It. I, I'm annoyed. This happens, life of a YouTuber. It, it happens, it happens. I just don't understand why when it's in my computer and this is where I loaded it from from the clip that's saved to my computer. I don't get it. It's two o'clock, I'm not hungry, but I need to eat something. I don't know why I keep doing this because eating like this late in the day throws off my next meal. And that's why sometimes I be eating at like 10, 11 o'clock at night and that is not good. That is not good for your metabolism to eat right before bed. It's just, it's just not good. I was just looking at a meme that says, a I was looking at a meme that says, a frugal person saves money from choosing not to eat out four times a week. A cheap person saves money from choosing not to tip a server. Being frugal makes you smart. Being cheap makes you an a-hole. Learn to be frugal, but never cheap. I need to stop calling myself cheap. I say that all the time. I'm cheap, I'm cheap, I'm cheap. I'm really not cheap. I'm frugal. I choose not to get my nails professionally done. I choose to have my nails done with press-ons. They'll be done later. I choose not to get a wig installed and pay $300 
every month or three weeks, however long, and I choose to just treat myself every so often, I can do my hair at home and it still looks good. Like, look at this wig. I did this myself yesterday and it looks good, okay? I don't like paying full price for designer, but when I do treat myself to, to designer, I like getting it at a discounted price. This right here, I like writing my meals out, which I need to do this for this week. I like writing my meals out so I know that I have food at home and I have my meal like, oh, this is what I'm gonna cook instead of going out to eat. So I, I really need to get out of the mindset of calling myself cheap because I'm not cheap. I just like to save money. So anyway, what shall we eat for this breakfast slash lunch? Maybe one of my little Simply meals. Oh, we got cauliflower wings. Ah, you know what? I think I'm going to do cauliflower wings. Yes. Okay, y'all, so this is my option for outfits. This is a two-piece naked wardrobe set. My chocolate brown aviator jacket that I got from Forever 21. Some of y'all was like, Gina's not an aviator, it's a shearling. Maybe the word is interchangeable, but when I bought it on Forever 21, it said aviator jacket. I guess pilots wore jackets similar to this back in the day. So, yeah. So this two-piece set with these boots and this bag... That's the first look. Then this is super similar, but this is the Zara two-piece set. I think this color tone goes better with this lighter color. So this Zara two-piece, this aviator jacket is from Shein. They're both sold out. Y'all went crazy over my black aviator from Pretty Little Thing that I wore like two vlogs ago. Y'all loved it. Sold out, unfortunately. I might try to link a similar one down below. But y'all, these are sold out. So Forever 21, she in, and then the same boot and bag. I like both of these and they're very similar. But here we have this one. I think I showed y'all this as well, like two vlogs ago. It's um, a Zara dress, sleeveless turtleneck midi, biker jacket with my Balenciaga beanie. I was about to call these my, my, Rick, my Rick Adams. These are not Rick Adams. These are Rick Owens sneakers. And then my red bag. The thing why I'm kind of leaning towards this one, I don't have to change my hair. So y'all see the hair is streaked red. This is an all dark outfit in my red of my bag and the red of my hair is like my little pop of color. And I'm gonna have a beanie on. So that's why I'm leaning towards that. I don't know how it's gonna look on. But I think these are more like fashion. But I would need either dark brown or like some type of brownish hair so i think i'm about to i gotta try these on first yeah before i start because yes i'll be back okay y'all so this is the outfit that i chose i'm still not 100 percent about the jacket because i do feel like this jacket goes better with the chocolate brown the chocolate brown and then my boots are you see, this is like a look, but this jacket is so much heavier and thicker. <sighs> That's my only hold back, <laughs> my only setback because it's only supposed to get down to, I think 58 degrees tonight. Right now it's 64 and it's supposed to get down to like 58. This is long sleeve. This is a mock turtleneck. My t I'm talking about my t-shirt. And then with this jacket over, I think this is like the right amount of warmth. This is so heavy and thick. <sighs> Anyways, this is a little tiny. Just text me. She's headed out the door. Tina texted me. She was in bed. <laughs> she took herself out to eat this morning for breakfast. And she, she got that itis. Well, for brunch. 
for some new uh, black owned restaurant. She had invited me and I texted her. This was midweek. She was like, I made us reservations. I said, where and what day? She told me. I texted her back. I said, what time? That was the one message she skipped. So she sent me pictures of her food and stuff today. I said, where are you at? She said, the place I made reservations for. I said, you went without me? She said, I gave you the information and you didn't respond. I said, yes, I did. Look back at the text. I asked you what time and you didn't respond. She sent the sad face back. Oh my God, I missed it. I see it now, but I missed it. I missed it. It's okay though. It's crew. Not giving what I wanted it to give. I don't know why I'm just not, I'm never going to be 100% happy with it. Anyway, this is the wig that I got um, custom installed and it was plucked and everything. This is the same wig. It is a, ooh, I believe it's an Arabella wig, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe Nadula. I don't know. But Certified Touch is the one who installed it and I just re-plopped it back on my head. So then I got my Louis earrings and my Louis choker that I never wear. And then just some gold rings. I don't have a watch or bracelets on because... The shirt is long sleeve and it comes like long, long. So even if I take my jacket off, my wrists aren't gonna show. So yeah, let's go. Should I make me a drink to go? All right, this is my current selection on my board. Y'all, I've had this, I wanna say for a year. Still ain't been open, still. Mm. It's just pretty. I, I I don't even know why I bought it. I think I bought it just to, oh, let me have a selection of light and dark just in case if I have company and they might want. No, I'm good and well, I don't be having no company. And then my boyfriend, he drinks what I drink. He prefers Hennessy, but when we go out, he wants to drink what I'm drinking, which is always clear. So he's on the vodka or he's on the tequila. So I guess that'll just stay there looking pretty because I ain't going to touch it. But this does taste good with um, apple soda or apple juice. FYI. We're going to keep it light. So I think I'm going to do the Malibu. It ain't much Malibu even left in here. Y'all know, look, Malibu's only 20% alcohol. Most of these are 40% alcohol. This is only 20. So we're going to do something a little bit light. Okay. Chastity. drowsy and woozy yeah yes yes ma'am open the door please wait do you know do you know that referee girl that wears 20 like a 20 foot shoes like like 20 foot shoes like like um and they're um adidas uh she's a referee she plays for your um this is like her page this let me see she's with your uh team no but like do you know her she's in ohio but like do you know her I don't know, baby. She went on ESPN. You said she wears a size 20 shoe? She doesn't, but she is, she wears it for fun. Oh, she wears it for fun. Oh, she was on ESPN. I don't know who she is. Their though. Instagram. Okay, what about it? Oh, I was asking you because Kai's mom knows her. Oh, really? Like, that's her friend. Oh, I see her. So her whole TikTok is about wearing this big old Adidas shoe. Yeah. <laughs> she, okay, but is she a basketball player? What is she, is she somebody? like she's what? She's a ref. A she's a basketball player. referee for what the WNBA. Mommy, you think she's going to WNBA? No, she's for for my like my league stuff. Oh, like AAU. Okay, AAU. but she got a lot of views though. Okay. Yeah, because of her big old shoes. Because of her big old shoes. Okay, yeah, I don't know her, honey. You know, I don't be on TikTok, so I I don't know like the people who are popular on TikTok. Shout out, y'all go follow her. Oh my god. Wait, and, 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 wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. And go follow me. 
Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Don't don't bite. Hold up, hold up. I got one more shout out to do to my big friend Kai. To my big friend Kai. My big friend Kai. Like it up and follow it up. I don't see any dances on TikTok because I don't watch TikTok. Only time I see TikToks is if somebody sent it to me. That's a dance. That's a new dance. Okay, y'all. As you see, I am home. I left from the sports bar at around 8.30. So it was a nice early Sunday fun day. I was out for all of two hours. I had two drinks. I had some wings, some fries. I watched the Rihanna show. So... And now here we are. I'm cleaning my makeup off. It's only 9.40. I think I'm about to go to bed early. I might watch an episode of... I'm, you know what? I'm about to say I watch an episode of you. I ain't watching an episode of you. I'm watching my trash TV. It's a new episode of Baddies West. I'm going to watch my trash TV and I'm going to go to bed, y'all. And then we're going to get it all started for our new week. Our weekly vlog starts tomorrow, Monday. We back to the grind. We back to business. We back to regular life. Okay. Love you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'm going to see y'all on the next one.